after you've generated your lead, now you want to present, right? You want to present your product. But, you know, and I wish the gentleman was here today. I tried to get him here today. I've been, he and I have been having a conversation for the past six or seven months. And his major challenge is buyers simply do not understand what he do and the value that his product has to offer. That's his biggest challenge. Why do you think that buyers don't have a clear idea of what you do or the value that your product brings to them? Why? Well, you're not explaining it to them properly, but how do you explain it? Okay. Uh, and I'm going to get to, to this later, right? Most people, well, we all buy because it either solves a problem, fulfills a need, uh, relieves some pain. It does something for us. It takes us from one state to the next state. It can be a physical state. It can be a mental state. It can be a spiritual state. We buy things because it puts us in a different state, right? Now, if you, are, if you want for your uh, prospect to understand the value that you have to offer, let's say you have five or six products. Should you present all five or six products to them, or should you present the only product that, is, that you believe is the exact fit for what they're looking for? Think of a car dealership, right? You go on a car dealership floor, there are like hundreds of cars, right? But you're not interested in hundreds of cars. You're interested in a, uh, in a Lamborghini, right? He shows you a Porsche. Or he shows you a Camaro. Dude, I'm not here for that. I'm here strictly for the Lamborghini, right? So the first thing you should be doing is always make sure that the product that you are presenting to them is going to solve their problem or whatever buying reason that they have. That's the first one. But now the second one is to only present the exact features of that product that speaks specifically to their needs. Let me go back. You can no longer simply stand in front of a prospect and run down a litany of all the features that your product has to offer, right? That's too much information. If you want to make sure that you're hitting those pain points, you make sure that you're addressing the features that speak specifically to their needs. And that you never state a feature without a corresponding benefit. I know we've all heard features and benefits, features and benefits, features and benefits. But what is a benefit? Anyone, what's the benefit? What's in it for me? Okay. How do I gain from that feature? What do I gain from that feature? From their perspective. This is from the buyer's perspective. What do I gain because of that feature? What do I profit from that? How am I better off because of that feature? And how am I off better off with that feature as opposed to another feature? Or another product? Or from another product from another vendor? So remember, you're presenting the exact uh, product that fits their needs. You're only focusing on the features that fit their needs. And you're making sure that you state a corresponding benefit. How they will be better off because of that. Make sense? And then lastly, which I believe that most of us fail to do, is we fail to close that cycle of feature and benefits with a trial close. Something that gets the buyer to agree, yes, that will solve my problem, no, that will not solve my problem. How many of you have heard the wisdom in sales that if you get someone to say yes to smaller yeses, Along the way, it's a lot easier for them to say yes to a big yes down the road. That's true, right? So if I go through, and this is, uh, this is more psychological in terms of sales, right? If I go through a conversation with Bill, and Bill is looking for a particular product that has these features, I've tied the benefits to that, and I say, Bill, tell me, Bill, will that feature solve the problem that you have today? He says, yes. I go to the next feature. Marlea, do you believe that that feature will solve the problem that you have? If I continue to build that process up throughout my presentation, when I get done and I ask the buyer, so Mr. Buyer, do, does this product look like that it's a good fit? What's my likely answer? Yes, right? <laughs>